Good afternoon. It is about five to three on Sunday afternoon. Um, I feel I should apologize for not uploading a video for uh, Saturday on Friday night. Um, I did a last minute decision to drive to my boyfriend's town to uh, spend the weekend with him. So I just got back home and I have about an hour and a half or so before I have to go pick up Boo Boo from work. So I thought I would come down and do a vlog and possibly upload this so it will be up later today, possibly early this evening. Um, and then I'm going to take Boo Boo out for dinner tonight because we have some things we need to talk about, which I may or may not talk about in my next vlog. We'll see. But we need a, a, a mother-son talk, I feel. So I'm going to take him out for dinner and we're going to do that. And depending on how that goes... Um, I will try and get out tonight and do another vlog f to put up for Monday. But I promise nothing because I have to do mom stuff. So, mom stuff always comes first. So, um, yeah, so I had a great weekend. Um, it was beautiful weather. We, I drove down, well, I drove up <laughs> to my boyfriend's town a um, couple hours after I finished work. I finished work around 3.30. Um, we ended our day on Friday with this first time clean, and it said specifically on my boss's list, a deep clean. First time clean is the first time clean. They all get clean the same, but whatever. Um, but when we got to this house, we found out that it was the grandmother that was there with this, I'm going to say, no more than three-year-old. Uh, and the grandmother told us that her daughter had gone in for a C-section that day. Um and was expected back, I guess, any time. And I thought, damn, because whenever I had a C, I've had two C two kids, two C-sections. Both times I was in the hospital for at least a week. Maybe two. <coughs> but I had complications with both too, so I don't know. <coughs> um, yeah, I, I was kind of taken aback, but whatever. Um... And the grandmother told us that, I don't know when they moved into this house, but she said that the house had not been cleaned since they moved in. And on top of that, they've had some renovation done. And it was like fucking beautiful. Like, so not only do we have to deal with the fact that you're slobs, we also have to deal with, you know, the aftermath of construction. Like, eat a dick. Neither of us were amused. Um, but, and, and my coworker had to go pick up her, her son at like 3.30 or something. So it was like, whatever. We did that house quite literally from basement to top floor, um, in like two hours, two and a half hours. Yep, we did. Yep, we did. Whatever. It was like, high five, have a good weekend, later. <laughs> so, I went and grabbed a coffee, and I sat in my backyard. I, I, I can't tell you how much I absolutely adore sitting in my backyard when nobody's home, and it's silent. Oh. I love it so much. 
So I probably sat there and drank about half my coffee and smoked about three or four cigarettes. And I had called, or I had, yeah, I had called and left a voicemail for my brother. Because he was supposed to come over Friday when I was done work. But I told him, like, I never know when I'm done. So, like, I mean, I can't give you a time. All I can do is call you when I get home. So I called him and left a voicemail, right? I'm home. <sighs> I'm going to go jump in the shower. Call me back. Let me know if you're still coming over because if you're not, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to my boyfriend's. So call me back. If I don't pick up, leave me a voicemail. I'm jumping in the shower. I bet you I waited, I don't know, like an hour and a half maybe. Excuse me. And I called my boyfriend and I said, let me know when you're done work. Excuse me. I have to go put gas in my car. Let me know when you're done work. I said, if you don't have any plans this weekend, I kind of want to come over. And I said, I'll bring my crock pot and I'll bring some potatoes and whatever. I said, I, you know. I'll cook dinner in the crock pot at your place on Saturday and, you know, have, have a nice dinner Saturday night, whatever. And uh, I said, unless you want to get away from your house, you're more than welcome to come here. But, you know, and he was waffling about going to his buddy's trailer. And I was like, well, babe, if you want to go to the trailer, like, go to the trailer. Like, I don't have any friends that go to a trailer. My friends generally, like, they go camping, camping, like tent camping. I ain't doing that shit. I did it a couple years ago. Fuck that. Nope. I like nature to visit briefly, but once it gets on me, that's it. I'm done. Let's go. Bye-bye. I don't sleep outside. I don't pee outside. No. Nope. So, <laughs> I, I went over, but as I left to head out, I see my brother, you know, walking toward my place. So I go over and I honk at him and I said, you're not coming over to my house, are you? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, I'm on my way to Big Daddy's because uh, you never called me back. He said, well, my phone died. <laughs> so not my problem. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I don't sit around and wait. For people if you don't get back to me for whatever reason I'm making alternate plans like bye bye I'm out of town now later I said jump in I'll take you home because he'd walked and it was quite humid on Friday and he's diabetic and his health's not the best I said get the fuck in the car I'll take you home like sorry about your luck bud like I, I felt bad but it was like dude my dude you gotta keep your phone charged so you know, I took him home and I tottered on over to my boyfriend's town and by the time I got there it was probably about 7-ish maybe not quite 7.30 and neither of us had eaten all day and uh, so I got out of the car and I had some of my coffee and I had to have a cigarette Drives like that great my nerves. I, I do not like driving. That's actually the first time I've driven by myself to his town and not gotten lost. It is so anxiety inducing. Like I can get lost in a paper bag. It's like, and I first to admit it, I, I suck at directions. I get lost all the time and walking, getting lost doesn't bother me. Driving, it, it aggravates me greatly. <coughs> <laughs> but I made it absolutely no issues. Um, but I had to have a cigarette. I had to have some coffee. And I had to breathe. I was shaking. Like, it, it really is. It, it, it sounds so stupid. I don't understand it myself. I know it's stupid. But it, it, it's absolutely anxiety-inducing to me to drive anywhere where I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. So, I made it. It was fine. Good. So... <laughs> decompress a little bit and we went to dinner had a very nice dinner and 
picked up some snacky poos and went back to his place and we watched movies. Actually, I think we watched one movie and just about fucking died. We were both just done. <laughs> and so yesterday, it was damn near noon before either of us got up. Like, and he's not one to sleep in. Like, not like that. The sleeping in for him might be like eight, maybe nine o'clock. It's nothing for me to sleep in till fucking three on a weekend if I don't have anything to do. I don't give a fuck. Don't bother me at all. I enjoy it. But I haven't slept in like that since I went back to work, really. Um, so we both just crashed hard. <laughs> and I had sort of said Friday night because I brought my bag of potatoes. I had about half a bag of potatoes. I said, well, I have these potatoes. I said, if you have eggs, um, I'll make eggs and hash browns Saturday morning. Like, just trying to spoil them a little bit, right? Make them dinner and whatever it is. Because usually when I go over there, it's just a spending fest. And, because he has no food that I can eat and whatever. So... But it turned out really nice because we went, we did go out for dinner Friday night. And it was beautiful. It was so nice. And Saturday, because we slept in, I had to get that. We'd bought the roast in his town. I was going to bring a frozen one. He was like, I'll just buy one. Like, it's fine. So I bought a small bag of, you know, mixed veggies and a bag of carrots and the roast. And I brought the potatoes and everything to cook in. And so I got the roast going shortly after noon and all that good stuff, seasoned it, whatever, got it going in the slow cooker, with potatoes and whatever. And we went to this little diner for brunch and he got some sort of cheeseburger. So it was actually quite big. I was impressed. Usually the they're just e little paper thin. This was like the size of your fist. That's the way I make a burger when I like. I don't eat burgers, but when I make burgers, like homemade burgers, I make them. They're about the size of my fist. <clears throat> like you, you need to dislocate your jaw to eat my burgers. I'm just saying. I'm wasting no time. You're having a burger. Like, <laughs> the amount that you pay for ground beef nowadays, you're going to have a real fucking burger. Okay. And he got a poutine with that. And a Diet Coke or Pepsi. I can't remember which they served. And I got a Greek breakfast. Now, let me tell you something. Me and food have a sketchy past. Okay. I hate food. I hate eating. It's a waste of my time. It generally hurts my stomach. I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Everything I eat. Now, I'm vegetarian by necessity. But even, like, if, and if I don't stick to a very, to very light food, right? Fruits, vegetables, cheeses, the occasional piece of toast, some crackers, if I get heavy on the starches, like breads, um, pasta, rice, all things that I eat as filler because I'm not eating every two to three hours. I just need to. But that kind of eating is very upsetting to my stomach. It just kind of sits there like a rock and I feel like ass all the time, all the time. It's, it's worse than carb coma. Like it's, it's. Not that I'm tired. I'm physically uncomfortable. I hate it. So food is not a good time for me. I do it because if, if, if you don't eat, you die. But we do not have a good relationship food night. <clears throat> but I had this Greek breakfast yesterday. And one, it was filling. And two, it didn't sit like a rock in my stomach. 
it was filling the way food is supposed to be, but it didn't make me feel overly full, which most food does, even in small portions. It just sits like a rock in the middle of my stomach and I want to friggin' die. And this breakfast was just like a little bit of scrambled eggs, like literally a handful. It was like one or maybe one and a half scrambled eggs. Um, some slices of cucumber, three or four slices of tomato, and two slices of feta cheese with a little bit of seasoning on it. I would have liked it if there's a little bit of olive oil on the cheese, but that's fine. And a watermelon wedge. I like watermelon, the taste of it. I hate the texture of it. <laughs> mean food we don't get along and I had many much coffee keep it coming keep it coming <laughs> and I had two slices of rye toast with just a little bit of butter on it oh my god it, it was the best thing I ever ate ever in my life where I wasn't uncomfortable or feeling like a bucket of assholes after like I was just comfortable and it kept my stomach happy like it kept it kept me full all day like all day and after we did that breakfast we went I had to go buy a pair of shoes because I don't own running shoes um, so I had to buy a pair of shoes and steal a pair of my boyfriend's socks um, and we went to this trail. We drove out to this trail. I can't remember what it was called or even where the fuck it was, but man, and I thought he had been there before. So I was kind of pissed when we started walking up all this hilly shit. There's roots everywhere and the roots are kind of like your steps. And it was very wild. Like it, the grant, the terrain was very wishy washy. Like you, you were kind of walking like this. You were never flat. And my anxiety was getting kind of like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> like, <laughs> I did it. I mean, we probably walked about half an hour through it and it was, it was like, if you've ever been to the Toronto Zoo, it's literally all up or downhill. That's what this was. And occasionally you were kind of walking like this. It was nerve wracking. And there was at least, there was one stream you had to cross walking on the rocks. That drove me insane because they're wobbly. And then there was like a bridge thing that you had to cross and that was wobbly and that drove me to like shit like that just <sighs> and I thought I'm never gonna get out of here like I'm never gonna get out of here it's all up or down a hill like fuck <laughs> it was actually easier coming back than it was going in I think he took a few pictures there was like this hole like literally a hole <laughs> where there was a stream, well, a stream, and it dropped a little bit, and then it dropped a little bit, and then there was like a hole, and it was all rock. And then above that is where we were standing, like when we approached it, so it was really cool. And they had this rope, just sort of a random rope tied to a tree, that tied to another tree, that had another rope that went right down. And that rope, that second rope, had all these random knots in it, I guess, to pull yourself down or pull yourself up or whatever the fuck. I was not doing that shit. I am not that hardcore. I'm not that curious. I, I don't care. I would never be able to pull myself. I can't pull my own body weight. Like, fuck. But my boyfriend went down and took a bunch of pictures. And he actually found me a really cool um, fossil. Um that's actually at home in my dresser right now. I'm going to give it to Monkey. Because he loves that stuff. Um, but we walked. We walked until my anxiety couldn't take it anymore. Like, I, And I tried so hard. I tried so hard. I felt like such a wuss. But I just couldn't. We reached a point where it was like, like my I could feel my heart banging in my chest. And I was starting to have a hard time breathing. And I actually started feeling like I was going to start crying. And I fucking hate that shit. Fucking hate that shit. And I was like, nope, hard no, hard no, we're done. Nope. 
I'm going, I'm, I'm going back. Let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I can't do anymore. I can't. That, and I thought, I honestly felt like if we went any further, I mean, even if my anxiety wasn't starting to get the best of me, I, I don't think I physically could have made it any further in and then turned around and gone back because, like I said, it was all up or downhill. So I had to do all that again to get out. And I just haven't done cardio like that in a long ass time. Like <laughs> it's been, it's been a minute. A bitch is out of shape. Like, you know, and he's going on about my smoking. And I was like, don't make me throw you down into that hole, bud. Like, fuck off. I'm in better shape than you are. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just haven't done this kind of thing in a long ass time. Not that I do that kind of walking. I, I prefer flat trails and shit. Because I'm that bitch. I will fall. I will break my foot. Like, I mean, it, it's just, it's who I am. <laughs> yeah. But when I was doing the gym and all that stuff, I concentrated mainly on cardio because I'm relatively active. I ain't looking to get, I was never looking to get buff. I was never looking to get, you know, socially acceptable in the thinness department. I could give a fuck. <laughs> You know, I just wanted to be healthy. And because I smoke, I concentrated more on the cardio. Um, so that's just what I did. And that was fine. But like I said, I haven't done any of that in a hot minute. So. But it was fun. Like, I, I, I did enjoy it. It's just I had enough of the nature. The nature was starting to get on me. You know, I got a few mosquito bites and, you know, nature is really pretty and I do enjoy it, but from a distance. Like, I don't want it on me. <laughs> I'm a city girl, okay? But anyways, we turned around and came back. And like I said, coming back was a lot easier than when we were going in. And I said to my boyfriend, you know, you sit in the car. I made him drive. I don't drive if I don't have to. Like, I, I don't know your town. I don't know where it is we went for our walk. You know where everything is. Here's the keys. You're the driver, driver. I said, you go sit in the car, turn the air on, cool down. I said, uh, cause not, and we didn't bring any fucking Gatorade or anything. Like we're not, we're not really good at planning shit. We just kind of wing it, jump in and hope for the best. <laughs> I bought shoes. Like, I mean, what more do you want from me? So he sat in the car in the air conditioning while I had a cigarette. And it was such a beautiful day. Yes, like it was so clear. Like I looked up in the sky and I could see the moon. And then I just kind of looked over to my right a little bit and I could see this. It was like the sun and the moon right across from each other. You could see them both clear as day. Well, of course you could see the sun it was daylight, but you could see the moon clear as day. Like it was so pretty. So I had my cigarette and jumped back in the car and we drove back to his place. Well, we stopped and got Gatorade. I needed Gatorade in the worst way. I don't drink water. And all he has in his house is Pepsi. And I, I'm not a big pop drinker. So, grabbed a couple large bottles of Gatorade. And he grabbed more pop. And I think that's all we got. Yeah, because we already had snacks. We'd bought in snacks on Friday. So we went back to the house and, you know, I got the vegetables and everything in. And we probably had everything done and ready. And we were eating probably by quarter after seven or something like that. It wasn't too bad. It was a little, it took me a little longer than usual. And it was a little awkward because not my kitchen. 
you know, all I brought was my um, one baking dish and my crock pot and of course the potatoes and the seasoning and whatever, but it, uh, uh, his oven is very different. I don't know where all his stuff is. Like it was just, it was just a little awkward, but I got through it, got it done. It was great. It smelled fantastic. I'm assuming it was good because he whiffed down like two plates, so <laughs> I'm assuming it was at least edible. <laughs> and uh, we cleaned up the kitchen and whatever and took a walk down to the Timmy so that I could grab another coffee. <clears throat> and... He played a video game on his phone and I caught up on the YouTubes and stuff. And then uh, we went and we watched a couple of movies last night. I can't even remember what movies. Oh, we watched Goodfellas. And I can't remember if that was last night or Friday night. But I know we watched Goodfellas this weekend. Monster Hunter. That was all right. That's what we watched Friday was Monster Hunter. It was all right. So last night we watched Goodfellas and something to do with Deadpool. I love the Deadpool movies. Ryan Reynolds kills me. I love him. Once Upon a Deadpool or something like that. It's basically Deadpool 2 but different. I didn't know it was a thing, so I had to watch it. My boyfriend fell asleep toward the end of it. He was snoring away. <laughs> I was sitting there giggling. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on the time here because I'm going to have to go get Boo Boo. I've got about an hour. So, yeah, and then this morning I was abruptly awoken. Um, by my boyfriend playing some fucking video game. I could hear like footsteps and it sounded odd. But then when the zombies attack and they, sh and, and you shoot them, it is so, the gunshots are like bombs dropping. Like it, it's so loud. And he has his hooked up to like surround sound. I thought we were under attack. I was like, what, it, what, uh, what in the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's giggling at me. He's like, oh, are you up? Like, Fuck you. <laughs> You're a douche. <laughs> and it was freezing in that room. Oh, my God. Friday night, he turned the air off for me because I die. It's so cold. It's so cold. And he just turned the fan on, right? Because there was no humidity Friday. It was fine. Saturday night was the same thing but we didn't think about it and I was freezing my little ass off. Oh my God, this morning. So I wrapped myself into a cocoon in the one blanket he's got. <laughs> and I'm hiding under this blanket. I'm watching a vlog. <laughs> he's, what the hell are you doing under there? <laughs> watching my vlogs, go away. <laughs> Play your game fine go away you do you I'll do me it's fine we'll go for coffee later <laughs> which we did because yeah the coffee I had was from like seven o'clock last night I mean I, I drank it don't get me wrong but I didn't really enjoy it as I'm sure you can imagine but it was caffeine and did the trick. So we went and grabbed coffee and I got a bran muffin to have with it. And, oh, he got a little sandwich and a couple of muffins or something and a chocolate milk. <clears throat> and he had decided, he was waffling all morning about going to this trailer. I was like, babe, like, you know you're going. Like, stop. Stop. We'll go get me coffee. 
and, you know, have something to eat because I was feeling a little shaky. I had to eat something. <sighs> and, uh, you know, well, we packed up the car before we went to Timmy's and everything, so I had all my shit. And when we came back, I said, you know, dropped him back off at his place so that he could go to the trailer. And I said, because I was parked in front of him, I said, I'm just going to take two minutes and have a cigarette before I get in this car because I know halfway home, I'm going to want to die. He's like, oh, oh. He's like, I'm not, I'm not rushing out to leave, so it's fine. Good, because it's happening. <laughs> so, I did that. And I got ready to go and I said, you know, I'll text you when I get home and everything. And are you sure you're going to make it? Like, fucking shut up. Like, I'm, I, I think I got it. I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so, yeah, I made it home. No problem. It was actually a very nice drive. Except I got behind one douchebag. I was probably a little bit more than halfway home. And this road, the speed limit was 80, so I was doing 90. And this SOB is doing like barely 50, barely 50. I'm slowing right down and as soon as I hit like, I don't know. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. As soon as I hit like 55, I was like, yeah, no, this, this, this ain't happening at all. No. So I, I do not like passing people on roads like that, on two lane roads. It, it scares the shit out of me. But you know, it was, it was a dry day. It's a very clear day. I could see for miles and there was absolutely nothing coming so a bitch went around like get the fuck out of here <laughs> I have no patience for that shit I am a very cautious driver but I do the speed limit like I generally do 10 over but I do minimum minimum 3 over okay at all times I, I, I don't care if it's if it's bad shitty weather I may slow down and do the exact speed limit but generally speaking I am minimum three over so 53 whatever the fuck this motherfucker on a road where the max is 80 kilometers is doing barely 50 that shit's dangerous so we passed and continued on and got home just fine. <laughs> that was the only thing that happened. So. It's getting hot here. Holy moly. Holy moly. So I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope the weather was nice. You got to relax or do something fun or both. Visit some friends, visit some family, go to the beach maybe. I don't know, was it beach weather? I don't really do the beach. I prefer to sit by a pool <laughs> with an umbrella and a margarita. Something with tequila in it. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to jump off, I think. I'm going to get out of this car for a minute and have a cigarette before I have to go pick up Boo Boo. And do mom stuff. That poor boy. Anywho, I hope everybody is well. And I hope this gets up for tonight. And like I said, I will try and get out later tonight and do another vlog to put up for tomorrow afternoon for Monday afternoon, but no promises. 
So, anybody happens to be watching, take care of yourself. Have a great afternoon, a great evening, and we'll talk later.